Number 15, find the north and east components of the displacement from San Francisco to Sacramento in figure 3.57. All right, so the figures down here below, here's San Francisco, here's, here's Sacramento. So they already drew in the displacement vector for us, and they want us to find the north and east components. Now remember, in terms of my uh, compass directions, north, south, east, west, okay, uh, overlay with the x and y components, right? North is really the positive x, east, uh, excuse me, positive y. East is really the positive x, south is really the negative y, and west is really the negative x. All right, so instead of saying finding the north and east components, I could say find the positive x component and find the, uh, oh, I, I did it again, guys. My goodness, what's going on? Find the north component, meaning find the positive y component, and the east component would be the positive x. All right, so taking a look at the picture, my east or my x component, if I were to first think about drawing, uh, drawing in axes, I would start my axis right about here at the origin of where the uh, trip started. Okay. My X component or my East component, make sure I don't mess that up again, would be this vector right here Okay, in red. This would be my East component and that's also equal to the X component. Okay. The North component, aka the positive Y component, would now be this vector here, okay? So now that value would be the north component, aka the y component. So how do we solve for x and y? Well, we know the angle here, right? Right here in the picture, it's 45 degrees. We also know this uh, total displacement, they told us that s is 123 kilometers. So I'm just gonna write the 123 over here. So look, if we need to find the x component here or the east component, realize that we know the hypotenuse, we know the angle that's adjacent to that side. So therefore we would be using cosine, right? So cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The cosine of 45 would be equal to my east component, let's say, over uh, the hypotenuse of 123. So the east component here will be equal to just take out the calculator, do cosine of 45 times 123. And it'd be uh, 87.0 if I were to round. 87.0, uh, what is this, in kilometers, so km. Okay, wonderful. Let's do the same thing for the north component now. Take a look at the picture on the right-hand side. If I wanna find this side, okay, and I know the hypotenuse and the angle that is opposite of that side, then I'm gonna use sine. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The sine now of 45 is equal to the north component over the, over the hypotenuse, which is 123. And now just plug it into the calculator. All right, so we get sine of 45 times 123. And guess what? It's the same value, 87.0 kilometers. The reason why they're the same is because it is a 45 degree angle and all 45 degree angles uh, the components X and Y will always be equal. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.